he'd get at least one right. He got one right last time, because he was trying to put down the wrong answer. <laughs> hey, Carson, we know you're the dumbest kid in the class, but did you hear what they said on Cronkite last night on the news? You're the dumbest kid in the world. <laughs> Denny, how could this have been an accident? Well, it was almost an accident. Um, I never would have hit him if I remembered I had to lock my hand. I'm not sure how to discipline your son, Mrs. Carson. I'll handle it. I'm also very concerned about his grades. Have you seen his latest report Boston card? Boston was easier. They didn't ask us to do much. Why well, ain't asking you either? I'm telling you. You weren't meant to be a failure, Bennett. And you can control your temper, but and you can bring your grades up, too. Oh. I know you can. I'm dumb, mother. No, you ain't. You a smart boy. Listen to me. Listen to me. You just ain't using that smartness. That ain't the life God wants for you either. Yes, mother. Anybody know what this is? Anybody? Yes. Benjamin, can you identify this rock? It's obsidian. Obsidian? That's right. Do you know how it was made? Well, it was formed after a volcanic eruption by the supercooling of the lava when it hits the water. The volcano erupts and the lava flows down red hot. And so when it hits the water, the elements coalesce, and since that water is cold, the air is forced out, and the surface glazes over, and the lava becomes hard, and that makes obsidian. I mean, obsidian, sorry. I see you after class. This poor doctor and his wife ran for their lives as the thieves chased them across rocket. Barren land, all these missionaries' feet were, were, were cut open by sharp stones. Their, their clothes were torn by brambles and finally, they came upon a great fortress. But the bandit king was right behind them. The doctor ran up to the front door of the fortress and tried to open it, but it was locked. Oh, if only someone would let them in. No one was there. The doctor and his wife hid, but the bandit king saw them and drew his sword. There appeared to be nothing that could save God's good people. The bandit king was after me, and so I hid under some straw, and a blue mouse came out and scared his horse, and I got away. I saw it in my brain. That's good. That's your imagination working. But it was real. It was really real. Did I say it wasn't real? It's not real. That's what's called imagination, dummy. Shut up. Watch your mouth, Curtis. Mother, I want to be a doctor. A missionary doctor, just like the one Pastor Ford told us about. You can be anything you want to be in this life. <laughs> I missed you. I missed you. Oh, I missed you too. I know all my times tables. I got them all right, except oh, one. Let me see. I knew you could do it. <laughs> I knew you could do it. She did it. Come get it. Dad never let us over here. Why not? He don't want us being freeloaders. That's a good thing to not be. You don't even know what a freeloader is. Somebody I can swim in this pool. Well, you guys can swim here anytime you want. You just need to ask your parents. Parents? Our mom died. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm Lisa. Celia. And you are? I'm Marcus. Nice to meet you. And I would love if you and your dad and Marcus all came over so we could kind of get acquainted. You don't have to invite Marcus. She already did. <laughs> so I'll see you Friday. Okay. Yes. Okay. Nice to meet you guys. Bye.
Bye. Bye. Our equals. Tommy? I told you, my special doctor said that I don't have to answer your questions. <laughs> no, Tommy, your special doctor says your feelings are important. I know, but I don't feel like answering your questions. <laughs> Hey, guys, did you see the cereal box and the fruit punch? Now, that's what I call a food fight. <laughs> that joke stinks, Dad. Hey, man, you laughed at that one last week. I love them both, but I especially like when my dad gives me ice cream right before he drops me off at my mom's boyfriend's house. <laughs> and now, I like to close with the joke. Did you see the cereal box? And the fruit punch. Now that's what I call a food fight. Thank you very much. He's stealing my material and he's killing with it. Thank you for working clean today, Tommy. If you like the movie, you do what? You give it a holler. Go ahead, Jay. I thought it was funny, and I like this, and I especially like the singing, and Beyonce can sing. She gives me feet.